Good evening, parents, faculty, special guests, Dr. Williams, and Victor Valley Union High School District Board of Trustees. Congratulations, class of 2020. It has been my honor and privilege to serve as a principal of Cobalt Institute of Math and Science. Parents and guardians, I commend you for doing a wonderful job molding these amazing young men and women. It is with your love and support that they have developed into productive citizens with a passion for life. Class of 2020, you have been on an amazing journey. Six years ago, you were accepted as seventh grade students and your senior year seemed like an impossible dream. You made your presence known not only academically, but also on the athletic fields, ASB, and student activities. You have built lifelong friendships, and now your hard work and perseverance has paid off. Congratulations, Cougars, you made it. You are Sims' second graduating six-year class. On the first day of school, I knew that there was something unique about this class. I did not truly know what it meant, meant to be a Sims Cougar, but within the first few weeks, it became evident. Cadet Corps leaders marched into my office and pleaded their case to keep their program. I was blown away by the strong leadership of the cadets. I also saw the SIM spirit as I walked the campus. Seniors demonstrated their presence by protecting the underclassmen, showing respect to staff and leading by example. I researched what a cougar represents and found that cougars represent leadership. They take charge of one's life. Cougars are powerful, strong, and they defend their cubs. Our world changed on Friday, March 13th, 2020. Little did we know that that was our last day together. The COVID-19 pandemic closed schools and students were forced to become virtual learners. Seniors were devastated as senior activities were postponed and eventually canceled. I cannot express how sorry I am that you were deprived of a traditional senior year experience. It breaks my heart for you not to have those lasting memories. There is a Tibetan saying, tragedy should be used as a source of strength. No matter what sort of difficulties, how painful the experience is, if we lose our hope, that is our real disaster. Our class of 2020 demonstrated strength, courage, flexibility, and the ability to adapt to change. And for that, I commend you. This is a pivotal moment in your life as you transition to adulthood. The next steps of your journey will begin by transferring or transitioning to the workforce, moving into the dormitory to attend college, or perhaps traveling abroad. You are ready to take on the challenges of the world and develop rich and rewarding experiences to create a successful life. My advice to you, continue to be lifelong learners. Cherish what you have learned while at Sims. Be wise in your decisions. Be true to your word. And most of all, be true to yourself and your values. You are the author of your own life, and you can write a great story of success and happiness. Please know that the faculty and staff at Sims are proud of you. We believe in you, and we want nothing but the best for you. And no matter where you go in life, no matter what challenges you face, always remember that you are a cougar and cougars are strong and powerful. Congratulations, class of 2020. Thank you and I wish you the very best. Next, we will hear from the class valedictorian, Alex Morgan. Good evening, families, friends, dignitaries, and class of 2020. Today is a day of celebration. We should all be proud of how far we've come and the exciting road ahead of us. We've all encountered challenges these past four years, least of all COVID-19. But those challenges have shaped us to be the people we are today. We should not be afraid of these challenges, but listen to the wise words of Ed Helms. Don't be afraid of fear because it sharpens you, it challenges you, it makes you stronger. And when you run away from fear, you also run away from the opportunity to be the best your best possible self. 
The experience of high school has taught us so much inside and outside of the classroom, and we must cherish these men this time. I know we have all had several breakdowns, sleepless nights, and lots of stress, mainly due to procrastination. But all these challenges have helped us grow and be prepared for our futures. We've all made memories that are going to last a lifetime and friendships that will influence us forever. My fellow classmates, thank you for giving me advice, motivating me, and helping me get things done. I would not have been able to achieve the position of valedictorian without my Sims family. I would also like to thank my teachers, especially my parents, my dad for always being there for me, my mom for always motivating me and guiding me, my brother for always pushing me to do my best and just always being there for me. And lastly, I want to thank God for guiding me through my whole journey. I'm so happy to be part of the class of 2020. You will always have a, a special place in my heart. Thank you and congratulations. Speaking tonight on behalf of the three salutatorians, Angelina Kim. Good evening, honored guests, teachers, administration, parents, and most importantly, the class of 2020. Firstly, I'd like to extend a message of appreciation and gratitude to the teachers, administration, and counselors of Cobalt Institute of Math and Science. For you have not only taught us valuable lessons that will carry on for the rest of our lives, but you have listened to our individual words and thoughts, put up with our silly and sometimes annoying behavior, and treated us like more than just a grade on a test paper. I'd like to thank our Sims faculty for being a crucial part of our school, for you allow our campus to run cleanly and efficiently every single day that we are here. To the parents and guardians of the class of 2020, thank you for the sacrifices that you have made in order to encourage and support us in our educational pursuit here at Sims. So on the behalf of the class of 2020, we thank you. And finally, class of 2020, these unprecedented times are a test to the bond that we have all created with each other over the course of four or more years. We have shaped each other, grounded each other, supported each other, and imprinted each other into our memories, all while wearing the same cobalt blue, black, and white polos for the past 1,460 days of our high school career. These are the moments that will stick with us forever. For so long, we have looked towards the light at the end of the tunnel, excited to experience our first prom, excited to work with our sports teams to achieve victory, excited to walk across the stage as our family members cheer us on, clapping proudly as we shake the principal's hand with our right and hold our diplomas with our left. It is these moments that seem to be the defining points in our high school lives. But after realizing that the light at the end of the tunnel is in reality an oncoming train accelerating towards us, it's hard to not be crushed by its impact, but it is those who are hit the hardest that learn the most. The second semester of our senior year has given us a taste of one of the biggest challenges of life, the unexpected adversity. And if there's one thing that I have learned is that this moment of adversity does not define the ending for us, but rather serves as a new, stronger beginning for those of us in pursuit of our future goals and achievements. The future is daunting, but the occasions for defining moments do not arise every day so as to not re regret the potential possibilities or what could have been, seize the opportunities that do arise and say, YOLO. Our senior year may have been unexpectedly cut short, and for some it is difficult and for most it is stressful, but there are still paths that we can take to find that light that we once saw in the very beginning. Even though it is different, and even though it is not how we imagined it to be, graduating during these times of hardships proves our capacity and our perseverance whilst overcoming the barriers in our way. As we move forward into our futures, I wish you all good luck, as we are far from the destination. And a congratulations for the irreplaceable memories and achievements that we have all created as a class of 2020. Thank you. Dr. Williams, I certify to you that these students in the class of 2020 have met all graduation requirements of the Victor Valley Union High School District and the state of California. 
I certify to you that these students in the class of 2020 have met all graduation requirements of the Victor Valley Union High School District and the state of California. On behalf of the Board of Trustees of the Victor Valley Union High School District and the state of California, I recommend that the 2020 graduating class of the Cobalt Institute of Math and Science be awarded their diplomas. Tiana Felicia Alvarez. Stephanie Amezqua. Jacob Trent Ancru. John Cedric Alfaro Balthazar. Caesar Alexis Barahona. Jacob Christopher Barajas. Stephanie Alessandra Barrera. Omarion Ahmad Ba. Ariana Justina Benton. Kevin Jason Burnaby. Wilmer Miguel Angel Bevins. Nitza Guadalupe Bobadilla. Madison Renee Brandt. Jesus Cabrera. Angel Canada. Isaac Gilbert Cardenas Dominguez. Juan Pablo Castillo Bedoy. Elizabeth Lee Castro. Terciano Castro. Amelie Miliana Chapa. Maya Nadine Chapman Lee. Ivan Chavez. Xavier Adam Cole. Justin Corrales. Kiara Lisbeth Cruz. Samantha De Santiago. Joseph L. Decker. Stephanie Del Rio. Ricardo Isaias Del Villar. Roberto Jaime Diazabara. Jimmy Guy Dilly III. Tram Tiet Do. Jessica Danielle Earl. Leovani Enriquez Moda. Yanel Enriquez Moda. James Alexander Escobar. Joseph Matthew Esparza. Samara Agdepa Gesulga. Stephanie Alejandra Gomez. Angelica Nicole Gonzalez. Anthony Luis Gonzalez. Antonio Gonzalez Jr. Bemwa Habashi. Kiara Justice Hardy. Carlos Miguel Hernandez. Alexis Luis Hogue. 
Fernando Ibarra. Sebastian Ivan Ibarra. Steven Alberto Jaime. Miguel Jaramillo. Evelyn Jimenez Valdez. Nathan Scott Kidder. Angelina Kim. Monique Crystal Lara. Joshua Enrique Lopez. Angel Fernando Lopez Montano. Carlos Miguel Angel Maldonado. Jeline Marge Back Manuel. Alejandra Elizabeth Martinez. Mia Faith Martinez. Juana Maria Martinez. Crescendal Avion Mayhem. Ricardo Mendez. Catherine Giselle Mendoza. Trinity Nicole Meyer. Hazael G. Molina Moreno. Robert Ateleno Manuel Montoya. Alex Andrew Morgan. Derek Andrew Moya Lupercio. Angel Manuel Murrow. Michael Min Nguyen. Melissa Ojeda. Kevin Gabriel Palma. Eduardo Bueno Barreras. Michael Anthony Parnas. Ronald Raymond Paso. Jericho Sebastian Pereda. Anai Edith Perez. Jocelyn Valencia Prado. Christian J. Preciado. Caleb Tristan Putney. Abigail Viviana Ramirez. Jasmine Guzman Ramirez. Alexis Emmanuel Rios Rodarte. Leroy Rivera. Mohamed Ritz. Ruth Sarayi Rodriguez. Dylan Jacob Rojas. Julia Giselle Ruiz. Abraham Joel Salazar. Angela Reyes Salcedo. Anthony Jose Saldana. Cassandra S. Saloon. J. Michael Sanchez. Hezekiah Allen Sanders. Anna Simone J. Soares. 
Cayenne Ray Scaletta. Sadia Nikaela Semyon. Karam V. Shanti. Eli Adonis Silva. Frank Xiaowei Song. Prachi A. Sony. Noah Stevenson. Veronica N. Still. Sarah Renee Tobar. Janet Torres Carlos. Emily Torres. Kimberly Tovan. Jacob M. Villarreal. Lillian Haley Villegas. Zachary Lee Pakaleleponi Weaver. Christian Matthew Jonathan Webb Miranda. Taylor Grace Wilson. Araya Jalen Young. Tristan Yuskovich. Tiana Marie Zamora. We will now hear from our ASB president, Veronica Still. Good evening, families, friends, dignitaries, SIMS faculty, and the graduating class of 2020. It has been an honor to be your ASB president and to have this opportunity to speak to you. Never did I think my shy little seventh grade self would be here giving this speech. I would like to take this time to thank my parents for always pushing me to do my best, my brother and friends for always supporting me and making all of this a little easier, Ms. Miles and Ms. Sims for pulling me out of my show and guiding me through the past six years. None of this would be possible without all of you. For most of us, our lives at Sims started in 2014. We were all clueless seventh graders who didn't know anyone and hated our uniforms. Now everybody knows everybody. But the uniforms, well, I think it's safe to say most of us would be more than happy to wear them. One last time if it meant we got to go back to school. We all wore our uniforms for the last time and we never even knew it. I don't think we knew how much we appreciated being at school until we no longer could be there. It was there we attended our first blood drives, tailgates, rallies, dances, honor roll celebrations, and the CIF playoff games. I'm not sure how many times we've had to repaint our cougar head in the quad, or how many random times our sprinklers have gone off. But I do know this year's homecoming and winter formal dances were the largest and most successful dances Sims has ever seen. This year, we were able to celebrate the boys cross country, boys and girls soccer, and girls basketball when they made it to CIF playoffs. It has been said that our lives are like a book and we're all writing our own story. Sims has been a huge chapter in most of our lives. We've had to work so hard to get to where we are today. I know the ending of this specific chapter wasn't all we wanted or expected. However, we're here and we're making the best of it. To quote C.S. Lewis, you can't go back and change the beginning, but you can start where you are and change the ending. All we can do is hope for the best and make sure that everything pays off in the next chapter we are beginning to write. It is not easy to end this chapter, but with endings come new beginnings. Matt Moore said, in the end, we only regret the chances we didn't take. So take your high school memories and hold them close as you wrap up this chapter and begin writing a new one, full of opportunities and new adventures. I've always believed we are capable of so much more than we give ourselves credit for. Thank you and congratulations, class of 2020. Next to address the class is a senior class president, Sadia Semyon. Good evening, family, friends, distinguished guests, and most importantly, the graduating class of 2020. We have patiently waited 12 years for this special day to come, 
and I would like to reflect on the last four years. In 2016, we were little freshmen filled with excitement and eager to see what high school held. We had our backpacks filled to the brim, and even though we knew we didn't need those seven color-coordinated notebooks to get us through the first day of school. We walked through campus with our heads held high, ready to conquer high school. I think you guys can all agree with me when I say freshman year was a blur. But sophomore year, oh, we all remember that dreadful year. Chemistry, need I say more? Honestly, one of the hardest subjects ever created by mankind. The PSAT, our first step to college, and putting the word practice in front of the word test didn't really give us stress, but little did we know, we should have taken it seriously. Everything seemed to get so much harder in 10th grade, the classes, the tests, and even the friendships. We were so used to having things handed to us, but that was slowly starting to come to an end. We were beginning to grow up, and that was okay, because sooner or later, we had to. Fortunately, we all made it to junior year, the year of change, adventure, finding yourself, and overall, the year of new experiences. Junior year was full of fun, and even a little bit of recklessness for some. <sighs> we were beginning to blossom, and school activities were the place to be. There were college field trips, amusement parks, and we can't forget about Powder Puff. And we all knew the class of 2020 should have won that year, but it's okay. I think it's safe to say we all got a little closer that year. And then the year we had all been waiting for, senior year. We started off the year with senior sunrise. We arrived at school at 6.30 a.m. in our matching senior shirts, happy to see one another and ecstatic to start the year, our last year. We were overwhelmed with our last chances to take the SAT, fill out college applications, and begging our parents for their social security numbers so we could fill out our FAFSA because they were taking too long. But we didn't let those things get in the way of our fun. We enjoyed another year of Powder Puff, where the class of 2020 took a win, walked into each pep rally, starting it off by yelling, good morning, y'all, and skate night, where we all found out Robert couldn't skate even if his life depended on it. Even though senior year was cut short, we still made the most of the time we had. As we go our separate ways, I'd like to leave you with a little bit of advice. First, make choices for yourself and don't let anyone come in between that. At the end of the day, you're the one who has to live with it for the rest of your life and someone's input shouldn't uh, define your output. Second, always aim high. Don't settle for less just because it's easier. Keep your goals in mind and strive to be the best person you could possibly be to make that goal an accomplishment. And lastly, don't let a bump in the road negatively affect you forever. You may feel like you've hit rock bottom, but you can only go up from there. I would like to thank all my teachers for leading me in the right direction. I would specifically like to thank Mrs. Miles and Mrs. Sims for putting up with me through all of the chaos and always giving me a good laugh. I'd also like to thank Mr. Maroof and Mrs. Ross for teaching me things beyond a textbook. Thank you to my family for always supporting me and reminding me how great I can be no matter what. And mom, I may not say it often, but thank you for all that you do for me and everything that you've sacrificed to better my education and life overall. Thank you, class of 2020. You guys have taught me so many things and I'm so proud to be a part of this beautiful class. God has truly blessed me by allowing me to be a part of the Cougar Nation. Congratulations, class of 2020, we made it. Now we will hear from the class advisor, Mrs. Sims. Good evening, families, friends, distinguished guests, and the class of 2020. Graduation is a time to celebrate all the hard work you put into your education and achievements and look forward to the future. It's not only a milestone for students, it's also a milestone for the teachers, staff, family, and friends who have supported you along the way. I'm so happy to share in the excitement of your graduation day today and so very proud of you too. Throughout your school years, you've made new friends, developed new skills, and discovered new things about yourself. I'm so fortunate to have even been a small part of those experiences with you. Some of you six-year SIM students were in my class in seventh or eighth grade, and let me tell you, there were quite a few times I just had to tilt my head in confusion. 
Many times I would just shake my head and ask myself why. I remember the first time I raised my voice in class and I swear you could hear a pin drop. It still makes me giggle because you guys were so scared. Back then we were still getting to know each other, but to see you now and how much your personalities and interactions have either completely changed or absolutely stayed the same, I can't help but think back to those short, skinny-legged, awkward, drama-filled middle schoolers and smile to myself because look how far you've come. You have most recently dealt with an unknown threat in the coronavirus pandemic, which placed a lot of obstacles in many of your paths. Many of your lives and the lives of your family changed without notice. It made graduating a little more difficult and your future may be a little unclear at times. Yet, you are still all here sharing the reward of all your hard work and dedication. Look at the challenges you faced and overcome. Adulthood is about to begin, and I challenge you to bravely face it head on. The unknown is ahead of you, and I challenge you to push yourselves even when you don't want to or you feel like giving up. I challenge you to persevere when life seems like it's too hard to handle and you're having a hard time getting out of bed. I also challenge you to shine when it's your time because eventually your brilliance will be noticed by someone. I challenge you to appreciate your failures just as much as your successes and realize that one goes hand in hand with the other. Michelle Obama said, you may not always have a comfortable life and you will not always be able to solve all the world's problems at once, but don't ever underestimate the importance you can have because history has shown us that courage can be contagious and hope can take on a life of its own. Lastly, I challenge you to make your life into whatever you want it to be. I challenge you to be open to all of the possibilities that your futures may hold, whether that's at a four-year university, community college, a vocational school, or something completely different. I challenge you to fulfill your purpose and to do it unapologetically. Now I know all of you are anxiously waiting to turn those tassels, so I'll leave you with this. Your time is limited, so don't waste it living someone else's life. Don't let the noise of others' opinions drown out your own inner voice. And most important, have the courage to follow your heart and intuition. The future holds no promises, but rather mysteries and surprises. What you've learned here at Sims will prepare you for both. Congratulations, class of 2020, and all the best for the future. Class of 2020, please turn your tassels from right to left. Congratulations, class of 2020.